I think Syndergaard will actually be the guy that gets it done. I think all this other stuff, uh, believe me, I believed in DeGrom too, but I bet on the Royals. Mafia knows I bet on the Royals today. At one point it was plus 101, it got up to plus 110. I bet on the Royals. I got them at, I think, like 105 or 107, something like that. And then I, I took them. I just didn't have faith in them after they blew that game last night that they would do it. It didn't matter if DeGrom was on the hill. I didn't have faith in them. I thought that it was going to take a dent out of their psyche. And it was they weren't going to live it down. They weren't going to live down that butchered first game. They butchered that game. They should have won that game. And the fact that they butchered it, I mean butchered it in a big way. They stopped hitting. They didn't, all they did was strike out. From the ninth inning on, they struck out. I mean, what'd you tell me, Mafia, ten times? My God. They were swinging at everything. I thought they were at a driving range hitting golf balls, for Christ's sakes. They looked awful. I don't know what the hell happened. That's not the team that got to the World Series by beating the Dodgers and Cubs. That is not the team. So, But I do believe in Syndergaard on Friday night, and I'm here to tell you right now I'm betting on him. And if the Royals win that game, it's over. It's over. You might as well have, just put your uh, baseball glove in the basement, tuck it away, take your Mets jersey, put it down in the basement in the cedar closet. It's over. Their season's over. It's done. They might as well cancel the fourth game. That's how over it'll be. It's up to Syndergaard. It really is to save the day or they're done. They have to win Friday night or it's over.